Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In our last video, we have performed a data backup on Windows 10 using Ease Us to Do Backup software. So guess what? The process is same for Windows 11 too. So in this video, we are diving into how to restore that precious data backup on Windows 10. So without any delay, let's get into the video. Okay, so you can see here, this is my screen and uh, this is my data backup software. And you can see here, we have taken a backup. Last backup was successful. You can see here, this is the important file which you are taking the backup, which is uh, here. You can see here all my important data are there. My photos and my video, my Excel file, my doc file, all important files are there. And then it's taking the backup on the E drive. E drive is my system drive, which is the another volume. So now let's create a hypothetical situation here. Let's delete this file. So I assume that this file got deleted for some reason. So you can see this is my important file and I create shift and delete and done so this file will get deleted let's go to recycle bin and you can see here recycle bin there are files few files so let's delete this from the recycle bin also so now our recycle bin is completely clean so now the question is if we do not have a backup imagine a situation when you have a business data right you have all the client information like your uh, client emails client phone numbers client details right transactions all the detail you have on your computer and that got deleted for maybe by mistake that's got deleted or maybe deleted because a system got crashed but due to some reason or maybe the virus or ransomware attack if you take with the personal data let's say you are a content creator uh, you are a YouTuber, you are running good, your channel is doing good and you have lots of videos and a script, everything on photos, everything on your drive and that got infected because of the virus or your it's got corrupted due to your hard disk got failure or some reason, some, let's let some weird reason it got corrupted. Imagine the situation, what will happen to your personal things, right? So that is what the backup is important. And now, since we have taken the backup, I am not worried about since my data has got deleted. I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. Because I know my data is here. It's here. I cannot see the data, but I'm sure that I can restore it. So now the question is how to restore it. Okay. So how do we restore it? So first we have to install the Ease Us To Do uh, software. So how to install it? You can go back or check this video on my channel. It's already there. So how to install it, how to download it and install it. Once you install it and once you run the backup, come back to this video and then you start the process so you can see here now I have a backup here so to recover what I have to do is I have to click on the recover so when you click on the recover it will show you you can see here this version history version history like at what time you have taken the backup and what are there included in the backup so let's say file which I had let's say in this one 2136 I want to recover my file in from 2136 and there is also like this is 38th and 29th also we have a backup so you can see the two different dates here I have a choice where I can recover the data from either of these dates. So let's select the latest one. This is the latest one and you can view it. We can go to this user and uh, let's click here. You can see the files, whatever the files you have it here. You can see all my files are there. I'm not worried about this since I have deleted, shift deleted the data, right? So you can say that, okay, now I am sure that my data is there. So you can fetching the data from here, where? From these files. These, these are the encrypted file, these are the compact file. This data, this software is pulling the data from there. So it's asking about where you want to recover it. So you can go to the recover it, you can, you can select the different path to recover it or you can select the recover to original location. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and click on the proceed. So you can see here it's saying like recovering 5% and it's shoo, completed, finish. You can see how, how easy it is. Now let's go back to the important files and you can see boom. All my files are intact. All my files, everything is there. Isn't it a important software for you, for your business to have that on your system? Go ahead and install this software and take the backup, restore it. And if you have any questions, query related to this video or related to the software, please do let me know in the comment box. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you in the next one.